When I moved to Haines a couple years ago, I had several people ask in the community if I was interested in doing a larger mural or art piece um, in the skate park and that would be a neat way to get art students out into the community and I hadn't been in here before and came a couple times and uh, saw all these lovely uh, blank wall spaces that could be painted and I just thought it would be such a neat project to work on with students and get some some of those students who have a little bit harder time with buy-in in the art room um, doing painting and drawing would be a little bit more excited about painting and drawing if they knew that their piece was going to be in this space that they already use and that uh, it would motivate them a little bit more to work harder on their pieces to push themselves artistically so that they could actually uh, feel good about what they're putting up in their own space. I actually uh, had a friend Via here in town and she's been really encouraging me to work in the skate park. Um, I met another spray paint artist, Jeremy, who was already doing something at the recycling center and all the dominoes started falling into place. I looked at my class roster for uh, this fall and I said, I'm gonna do the skate park. <laughs> this is gonna work. And I was excited about the students that were in the classes. This is a borough facility, so the skate park is a borough facility. So I initiated the project by asking the borough uh, facilities manager, Ed Coughland, if he would be willing to have students come in and paint. And um, the borough was not only willing, but also happy to provide a painting budget. So we were able to get a budget um, from the borough. We also uh, purchased our paint through um, Lutac Lumber and um, Chip Lendy was gracious enough to also offer paint on top of the borough's budget so we could just fill this space with lots of beautiful color. And so we've been really well supported in the endeavor. Um, I've had lots of people ask too if we need more um, paint or just more resources. And that's a wonderful thing to see in the community and feel good about the project. So each student worked on a proposal, a mock-up image as well as a letter to the borough. And they had to tell the borough why they wanted to paint in this space and show a persuading image. And they then went on to actually decide kind of how the process was going to go. So what paints and materials they needed, they had to build a budget um, and have a budget estimate. And then we started coming into the space, measuring spaces, taking photos, we did a priming day where the students all primed their spaces with latex paint and went over quite a few blank pieces of plywood, which was great, and made the space look clean already. And then they have been working now for the past couple weeks on actually implementing their designs. And we also used uh, projectors. Um, some of them have used tape and different mediums to be able to expand their designs to the bigger space. Well, my group, which is Matilda Sal Chapel and Allison Benda, really wanted to make something that was super colorful. And we wanted to kind of have something to, uh, like, empower diversity and different types of people and just like have something that shows like lots of love for different groups of people. The Tilda found some really pretty like pop artisty kind of uh, like goofy Person. She was on Pinterest. We just kind of found an inspo image and then adapted that to 
to the space, which we were lucky enough to get the half pipe, which is a pretty big canvas compared to what a lot of other students got. And like Mer said, our piece is just all about empowering people and celebrating diversity. Yeah, inclusivity. It's pretty cool. On our piece, all of these color blobs are going to be abstract faces. And all of these speech bubbles are going to say nice phrases signifying that diversity and love are really important. And we're just here trying to spread positivity and make the skate park pretty. And I'm really excited with how it's going out and what it's going to be. Where are you getting the, the words that you're choosing to use? Our brains and the internet. Yes, I really want to write power to the people. That was one phrase I really wanted, but I'm just, yeah, our brains and the internet. We had to watch a lot of YouTube videos to uh, figure out what we had to do to make the planets and do a layering. So we had to watch just mainly a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do that. We usually just start with a black paint and we just painted this all black and then we kind of just went a little crazy with the, uh, you know, different funk, you know, space themed colors, purple, blue, uh, pink. And to make the planets, we use trash cam like this. And uh, well, first we get a trash bag, kind of make a circle, and then a trash can, spray paint around it. Kind of neat. No artist, just a, a TikTok video that I came across, and um, I saw, I just saw it, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And then I found out that we we're doing this, and I was like, I remember that video, and that would be pretty cool in the skate park. So my intention for the space was not to necessarily have a theme, but to allow students to really reach out creatively and think about things that they wanted to make larger in this space. I also uh, had them look up street artists and get inspired by street artists around the world and see if there was something that they wanted to create or replicate or uh, use in this space to make it even cooler. When I first started brainstorming ideas for um, a piece to make here, I just started drawing shapes and stuff, just having fun doodling. And so eventually I, I just came up with a bunch of different patterns. And then I figured out how to make that fit into the shape of the space that I was painting. Um, and so, yeah, I just changed it to fit that part and the curves of that, and then I just started doodling and making shapes. <laughs> Really, my inspiration for this has to be the face that originally was on the wall to begin with. Uh, first, I didn't know that the artist uh, passed away, so I thought it would be really nice to do a memorial for him. The medium I'm using is basically just acrylic paint. I basically just started off with a rough sketch using the projector, and then from there moved on by filling in the block colors and building up from there. How did you uh, choose this particular piece? I don't know, just, you thought of my hand and I was focused on drawing hands for a while and I was like, okay, might as well draw a hand. And the color green just stuck out to me, so I just chose that. And people are deciding whether or not to call it Frank Stan, Frankenstein or just a zombie hand, so yeah, that's really all it is. Could be. I don't know, just I like it. It stands out to me at least. Mm -hmm. Good. So I had some very crisp buildings, and most of the project was pretty clean in general. And I decided that I didn't like that. And I wanted to make it crazy. And more fun.
of that I can think of. I mean, most of the older art, we watched a documentary about old street art, and a lot of it was more messy than clean, taped lines. So what I'm planning is I want to make like a donut chain here and it might look like they're going through each other but I, once the spray paint actually goes over it, it's going to look quite normal. But my plan is I want to make a donut chain going from down here over this and hopefully if I have enough time I want to make a Homer Simpson character down here because he's just one of my uh, favorite cartoon characters. So. And you know, the, the donut's his favorite snack, so I figured why not? It's something close to my childhood that I, uh, I guess would just like to uh, paint, you know? All right, so what's the inspiration for this? Um, we are uh, doing like a little memorial thing for the 13 soldiers that we lost in Afghanistan. So, we kind of did a green line flag over here, and then we're doing hands, and we're gonna do 13 dog tags with um, everyone's name on it. We are using a wealth of mediums in the skateboard skate park space. We started with uh, priming surfaces with a latex, a flat latex uh, paint, um, an outdoor latex paint. Some students are also using that latex paint for their pieces. Others are using spray paint, and we also bought some spray painting tips and wing cap adapters so that we could actually get some precision with our spray paint and uh, create some cool textures and fades. Other students are using acrylic paint, and then we're also using some paint pens, which are an oil-based paint pen to get some more details and finer lines. So we've had lots of fun playing around with layering them. So letting the latex dry, layering acrylic over the top, letting that dry, uh, or vice versa, doing like a spray paint and then layering, I playing around with spray painting and then layering the paint pen over the top, which has been also very fun. The ultimate goal for this project is for the students to paint in the space, make it their own creative space, and take ownership of it for years to come. I want them to utilize it as a creative, almost gallery space, and encourage other students to take care of the walls. And that is a really important part of it, and one of the reasons why I really wanted high school students to do that, so that younger middle school and elementary can see this amazing work that they did and hopefully be inspired maybe in a few years to come to come in and do some of their own work with our class.